Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. I make personal development easy so that you can achieve your goals, do all the things you put your mind to, give you motivation, and so much more. It's time for you to step up, do the work, and become the best version of yourself. Let's go ahead and dive right into the show. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Welcome back to another episode of the Diligent Minds Podcast. I want to say thank you all for choosing me on your personal growth journey to give you that motivation to help you get to that next level in your life. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, whether you're listening to this on audio or you're watching me on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. If you're watching this on YouTube, you see that I have my LA hat on right now because we are in the playoffs. We got our ass whooped on our first game. What was that on Saturday once it once I seen it, we was down like I think it like nine zero in the second inning. I had to turn from. It. I was like, man, you're not about to mess with my emotions today. But we got positive vibes. I'm positive that we will come out of this series. And the Lakers are starting a preseason too. So, you know, looking forward to those two seasons. Well, looking forward to the playoffs of the Dodgers or well the MLB in general. And then also looking forward to a great NBA season starting up. Not a huge football fan, but I will watch it. I like to pick on everybody about their football team. So I always talk mess. That's just me. That's just me in general. I do that. So whatever your team is, I hope they losing right now. Whoever you are, whatever team you have, I hope they lose. (laughs) Now I'm messing with you. But overall, I'm just talking about my emotions with these Dodgers in these playoffs right now, because that's the top priority. We still got a long way to go in the NBA season. And I'm hoping that my Lakers do not upset me right now. Not too many announcements as we get into the episode. Only thing I really want to say is check out all the links down below as usual. Check out the coaching program, the book, the planner. And I also don't have my podcast for the or what is it, the Instagram for my podcast anymore. I just felt like it was irrelevant. I can just post on my regular. So if you're looking for that or if you like, hey, what happened to it is not there anymore. Just find me at Dorian Jones underscore on IG. Introduce yourself. Say hello. I want to get to know you all. All right, let's go ahead and get into today's episode. We talking about starting over and how starting over don't necessarily put you behind. Like if you starting over something, that's cool. You still good. You are above ground and you got an opportunity to make a difference. That's the most important thing. And we're going to talk about that in today's episode. When we think we starting over, we're not really starting over. We're now more knowledgeable. We have more experiences and different outlooks on life in general. As I stated numerous times, our life is a book. It's being written every single day. And when you feel like you're starting over, what's happening is you're entering a new chapter in your life. You're just entering a new phase, a new stage of it because your life continues on. And you remember everything that happened in your past, everything that happened in your previous chapters. And when someone pick up your book in the future, once you finish writing your book or even when you just outline how you got up to where you are in your story, it's going to serve as some type of outline on how you overcame adversity and navigated through the not so perfect times in your life. And it's going to be a guide to help others going through those things, because I'm pretty sure everything you're going through, everything you went through, you can share with someone else because it's someone else along that same journey right now. And you just don't know it. So don't feel like you starting over is a bad thing. Don't feel like you starting over that you failed or, or anything. No, you still going. You still here to express yourself. You still here to make a difference. And that's the most important thing you need to understand when we're thinking about like you starting over and you starting from scratch. No, don't look at it like that. We all have a vision of how our life is going to be in a perfect world. And then we realize that the world isn't so perfect. And I'm going to help you navigate through that in this episode. Let's go ahead and get right into it. As you're going through your life right now, you may feel like I'm hitting a new phase. I'm hitting a new chapter. You need to forget about what happened to you before because you cannot change that no matter what you decide to do, no matter how much power you wish you had. You can't do anything about your past. All you can do is focus on right now. And when we think about our past, it's still in our energy that should be focused on what's going on in the moment. How can we make the best of what's going on right now? How can we do something to Make sure that we don't mimic things that happened in our past. So I want you to always be aware of not revisiting your past too often. It's going to be times where you think about certain things, where things pop up in your life, give you reminders and and just make you think about what happened before and how you can change it. That's inevitable. 
When you're thinking about this past, though, it brings up all these old emotions and thoughts that led you to the things that that you should leave behind. Whatever happened in your past and you feel like I need to start over right now. Obviously, most of those things aren't positive or they're not going to carry you over to this new stage, to this new phase of your life. So you may feel like I'm starting over and you got regrets. You're thinking about all the things you should have done, all the things you wish you had done. No, just make sure that you don't repeat that and don't do those same things right now on your journey. That's the most important thing you need to realize. Your past won't change just because you're thinking about it, just because you think about how you can do things different now. You need to focus on not repeating that by doing things different in the moment and going forward. I don't even want to say we start over. I want to just start. I want to change that. I want to say we start a new chapter. And when you start a new chapter in your life, you need to know what you want. I'm not going to say it's good to know exactly what you want, but it is beneficial to understand like the direction that you like to go, whether you want to go in the same direction that you were going in the past, but just go a different way or whether you want to go on a different route altogether. That's something you need to identify as you open this new chapter of your life. Go into this new chapter of your life with expectations for yourself. What do you expect out of you? What's the bare minimum that you want from you? What are you no longer tolerating? What are you manifesting in your life? These are questions that you shouldn't just ask, but you need to write down and identify what these answers are to these questions. Don't base what you want on where you are right now or what you have at the moment. But what do you desire to get? What do you want in your life? And once you develop that the idea of what you want, now you need to become disciplined. And then you need to set an action plan, something that you can stick to, something that you can do every single day. When you wake up in the morning, you know what you need to do to help you take those steps towards where you want to go. You may not have the exact answer. That's cool. But you know, you got an idea like, all right, cool. I know I want to go this direction. I know I need to start chopping down at this tree right here. These are the things that are going to be essential for you not to repeat what happened in your past. And that's why I say it's so important to know what you're going after. If that's just a better life and it's a generalization right now, that's OK. You know that you're going after something that's different than what you had in the past. So don't repeat what got you up to this point. What got you to this point to where you feel like I need to scratch this off and start a new chapter? What things occurred into your life? So now, you know, these are the things that you don't need to do. These are the things that you need to stray away from. And if you don't know what you want at all, that's perfectly fine. I want you to answer this question to help kind of guide you in a direction or maybe just to spark a little bit of creative juices in your mind. If you have all the money in the world that you need, like you don't have to worry about anything in life and you can do anything with your time. What would you do for work? If you had to choose a job, you choose something that you did every single day. What is that one thing that comes to your mind when you say this is something that I don't mind waking up doing every single day? And then that may be the things that you need to chase. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, or maybe just an idea of it. But that's just something to help spark your spark your creative juices, spark your your mind to think, make you think like, you know what? Maybe that is something I want to go after. Maybe that's something that I can start to manifest right now. You don't know until you answer these questions and know what it is you're going after. Because there's so many people that walk around life blind. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they desire. And they just ask, they just going, they just surviving right now. And then they hit that roadblock. They hit that dead end where they're like, hold on. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing right now? I don't like this. I do not like this feeling. And I don't want that to happen to you or I don't want it to continue to happen to you. And when we thinking about putting things behind us, we thinking about starting over in that new chapter. I want you to focus on and put a huge emphasis on improving yourself, improving the person that you are. This is the most important thing that you can do for yourself and life. Because that's that one thing that can't be taken away from you no matter what happens in your life, no matter what's, what you're given, no matter what you're taking from, no matter what environment you put in. If you work on yourself, the knowledge and experiences you have can never be taken away. I don't care where you go in this world. You will always remember everything that you've learned, everything that you taught yourself, everything that helped you get to where you are, whether it's good or bad. So put an emphasis on improving who you are. Because if you improve who you are, it's more likely going to improve in multiple aspects of your life. Identify your areas that need the most work and go all in on them. Go all in on those things that that you know you need to do. You'll be happy that you did it. Do you need to improve your discipline, productivity, mindset, knowledge in a certain subject? 
What improvements will have the most impact on you as a whole? What's some things that you was slacking with? What's some things that you just put out there and you didn't do? Ways that you can just always work on yourself that you maybe didn't do in the past just because you was in your own way. When you improve in one area of your life, like I said, this automatically benefits you as a whole. This automatically benefits the individual that you're developing into, the, the individual who you are today. All of this gets impacted by what you put emphasis on when you work on yourself. And if you don't have the answers, that's OK. Remember, we just need to put one foot in front of the other. Just become one percent better every day. That's all you need. Focus on doing something better today than you did yesterday. It don't have to be everything. It can just be one area of your life. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Remember, this is a story that you're writing. It's your life. It's your story. And if you're writing this story correctly, it's going to continue to get better over and over again. The more you have experiences, the more of an emphasis you put on your own growth, the more of an emphasis you put on, on yourself as a person. And the last thing I want to touch on is drop your ego and get uncomfortable. Do the things that you didn't do previously, because a lot of times we'll stick to what we know. We'll stick to what we're comfortable with. We stick to our, our comfort zone. This is what you're comfortable with. This is what you're used to. These are your habits. This is automatic. This is happening for you. So you're just going with the flow. No, sometimes you need to go against that current. You need to go against the grain. And that's what you need to help you elevate yourself. That's what you need to write a better chapter right now than you had in the past in your life. This is what you need to do. Do the opposite of what got you right here where you are right now, where you start from scratch in your life or where you feel like you start from scratch. And when you're doing this, don't hold on what it used to be. Don't hold on to to those old memories. Don't hold on to that. Don't identify yourself as that or what you're comfortable with. Don't identify yourself with that. Don't hold on to those things because all those things you're comfortable with got you right here today. Try a different approach. There's nothing wrong with changing it up. You will always have that old stuff in your tool bag. If you need to pull it out, that's cool. You can do that. But right now you want to try something new. Many times our failures can be avoided by dropping our ego. It's okay to say that you're wrong or that you, that you learn something from someone else, that you pick something up from from reading a book that you pick something up from watching a video somewhere. It's OK to get somebody else credit. It's all right. You don't need to know it all. You're not expected to know it all in life. That's what we're here for. We're here as humans to to help each other on this journey because it's a hard journey. I'm telling you, we never have all the answers. Someone else's experiences can stop you from making a mistake that they made or stop you from making a mistake that that they would have made. Our egos are what slow us down majority of the time. We don't want to admit that we're wrong, but we don't want to ask for help either. We don't want to sit there and ask somebody else for help because we feel like they got an edge up over us or they feel like they better than me. No, you need to let that go. Leave that at the door. That could just be you in your head. Would you rather hold on to your pride that probably isn't damaging you as much as you think it is? You just in your own mind. You thinking that you think, oh, if I'm asking for help, they're going to say something about me. They're going to talk about me. I've been there before. I said those same things to myself. I don't want to be embarrassed. I don't want people to think this of me. I don't want people to think that. I don't want them to go tell somebody else this. Like, nah, drop your ego. Or do you want to develop into a better you and take your life to the next stage in this next chapter of your life? Because remember, you're not starting over just because you got to start from scratch. That's cool. You remember everything up to this point that's going to help you make better decisions. You must make that decision. When we think about our ego, we think about our pride. It's all internal. Most of the time it's in our mind anyway. Don't leave with your ego. The thing that you think is damaging you the most, it probably won't even matter because all your accomplishments that you'll get after you drop your ego will overshadow that. Drop your ego and get uncomfortable because once you do that, every single chapter that you write after this isn't going to be a start over. It's just going to be a step above. All right, I'm after that chapter. I succeeded in that level of my life. Now it's on to the next. I'm not starting from scratch again. So drop your ego, get uncomfortable. And apply all these tactics that we talked about in this episode and watch how your life catapult every single stage after this. It's not going to be a decline. It's not going to be with another one of those deep drops. No, we're going to have those inclines. We're going to have those inclines. Yeah, we may fall down a little bit, but we're not going to make those huge dips again because you learn. You dropped your ego. You started these new chapters and you made sure that you accumulated on top of that. That wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget to check out all the links down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're listening to this on YouTube 
or if you're watching this on YouTube, I should say, and if you listen to this on Apple Podcasts or any other podcast directories, go ahead and hit that subscribe button there as well and leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. Check out all the links down in the show notes. You hear the outro rolling in. You know what that means. Everybody is greatest within. Even you. <laughs> <laughs>